Americans rocked. In Decision 2024, there is a leaked memo that says Indiana's newly nominated lieutenant governor candidate poses a serious threat to the Mike Braun campaign. That memo from a party insider says the whole thing could open up the door wider for Democrats to take over the governor's seat for the first time in two decades. Dustin Grove is here tonight. He's got the memo and the fallout. Scott and Marie, our partners at the Capitol Chronicle obtained that internal memo last night. According to the Chronicle, it was sent to the Braun campaign from prominent conservative attorney Jim Bob. It outlines what it calls several negative effects from Micah Beckwith being nominated by the party as Mike Braun's running mate. Now you'll remember Braun wanted State Representative Julie McGuire as his lieutenant governor candidate. He even secured a last minute endorsement for McGuire from Donald Trump, but Beckwith who is a conservative pastor, podcaster, and business owner from Noblesville. He campaigned for more than a year for this position and won it over the weekend at the state party convention. In the leaked memo, Bob reportedly cited concerns that Beckwith could cause division and chaos, undermine Braun's leadership, and could even keep Braun from winning the governor's race altogether. He's quoted as saying, the Democrats have a real opportunity to launch a serious campaign in the fall because of Beckwith's nomination, and it has already begun. Now, Jennifer McCormick is the Democratic candidate for governor. In a statement, her campaign called the Braun Beckwith ticket dangerous, divisive, and extreme. I asked an Indiana political expert about that today. Do you think this opens the door wider for the Democrats? It certainly provides an opportunity when you see dissension among one party uh, that provides the other party with an opportunity to reach out to see if there's some sort of appeal that their candidate can have. When asked about the memo, Jim Bob told our partners at the Capitol Chronicle, I do not discuss confidential communications with others, and I think it was despicable that someone leaked it. Scott. All right, Dustin, thanks so much. So the Braun campaign also responded to this leaked memo today, telling us it represented Jim Bob's personal views. In a statement, a spokesperson added Mike Braun remains focused on enacting a bold conservative agenda as governor and is excited to have Micah Beckwith as his partner to get the job done.